Right, the Riversdale has been changed into a handicap in the league to make it more inclusive and give smaller trainers a chance in Ascot. One is Swats Corner, Darren Thompson. Two, Windy City, Padre Gogan. Three, Clockwood and Ballet, David Robertson. Four is Shimna Camellia, Dan Hughes. Five is Po Valley, Martin Leadham. Six, Idol Vice, Padre Gogan. Seven is Society Sphere, CDJ Liggett. Right, so there's seven horses in the Riversdale, in the heavy ground, and away they go. A good break by most, Idol Vice and Windy City in front, but they're seven in the line at the moment. On the inside, Po Valley. Uh, between horses is uh, Clockburn Ballet, and as Clockburn Ballet goes to lead them for David Robertson. So Clockburn Ballet, the leader, from Shimna Camilla in second for Dan Hughes. The other grey horse on that one's outside is Swat's Corner. The third grey horse in the race is Patrick Hogan's Idlewise. He's near the back of the field with Po Valley, but as Clockburn Ballet takes him along from Swat's Corner in second. On that one's outside, Windy City for Patrick Hogan. The grey horse poking up between that for Patrick Hogan is uh, Idlewise. Then comes Society Sphere for CJ De Liga on the inside of Shimna Camilla. And at the back of the field we have Po Valley for Martin Leadham is about five lengths first to last as Clockman Ballet takes him along for David Robertson but he's putting hard in front doesn't want to be there the pace is slow, Clockburn Belair the, the leader, but a reluctant one from a Shimna Camellia in second on the inside of the Society Sphere. Then on the outside is Windy City, Swatch Corner in between horses. The grey horse be, uh, just behind that is Idle Vice. Uh, then comes uh, Society Sphere for CJ De Liga at the back of the field and the Lilac White Stops. Po Valley for Martin Needham. But Clockburn Belair has been handed an easy lead, is about five lengths clear now of Windy City in second. Swatch Corner that one's outside, then comes Idle Vice. Po Valley has had the rails run from most of the way. They are closing up on this leader. Uh, the back of the field, Shimna Camilla and Society Sphere. They approach the entrance to the home straight and it's Clockburn Ballet. He was clear by three lengths from Idle Vice. Po Valley up on the inside. In between horses is Shimna Camellia. CJ De Liga is just horse behind it with the green sleeves and the light blue colours. That's Society Sphere. Then comes Swats Corner. At the back of the field is Windy City for Padre Gogan. They start to turn for home now. Clockman batter the leader from Shimna Camilla for Dan Hughes. In between horses, society spheres going well. Po Valley has rails run. They're followed by Idle Vice, then comes Swats Corner and Windy City. Clockman Ballet still the leader from Idle Vice in second. Society Sphere is trying to run on, but here comes Idle Vice for Patrick Hogan, and Idle Vice goes to pick it up from Clockman Ballet. It's Idle Vice who has the advantage now. It's trying to draw, draw clear Idle Vice from Clockman Ballet, Society Sphere, and also Shimna Camilla trying to get going, but a third and a half to go. We still have Idle Vice in lead. Idle Vice for Patrick Hogan from Clockburn Ballet in second. Then comes Shimna Camilla and Society Sphere. It's Idle Vice in front from Clockburn Ballet. Idle Vice still going strong even half a foot into travel Idlevice in the heavy ground is going to win Riversdale win the Riversdale Idlevice wins it for Patrick Hogan from Shimna Camelli in second for Dan Hughes close for third but the Riversdale goes for Patrick Hogan's Idlevice who took it up early in the straight and powered clear held off some challenges Idlevice wins it from Shimna Camelli the long time leader Clockburn Ballet was back in third for David Robertson Society's fear for CG De Lego was back in fourth and Swats Corner was fifth for Darren Thompson. So Idlevice with that featherweight wins for Patrick Hogan and wins the Rebels the last from day one at Ascot.